What is going on guys? Apple World here. So WatchOS 5.1.2 was released last week. I'm sorry that I didn't upload this video last week. As you guys are used to, like whenever there is a new update, I always upload the same day. But there was a problem this week, and that is that ECG has finally come out. But the problem is that ECG only works if your Apple Watch has been purchased in the United States. So I couldn't show you ECG, so I was trying to find a YouTuber that would show us in the channel um, ECG. So I collabed with an amazing YouTuber. I love him so much. I will show you and I will tell you who it is in just a second. But before we do that, let me show you five new features inside of WatchOS 5, Watch 5.1.2. Let's get started. If you love Apple, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. All right, so the first new change inside of watchOS 5.1.2 is that walkie-talkie now gets a toggle inside of the control center. So now if we simply swipe up through the control center, we will see that there is now a walkie-talkie toggle that if we press it on and off, it will show that we're offline or online inside of our walkie-talkie app. I love this new change. It seriously was really annoying to go inside of the inside of the walkie-talkie app every single time and turning it off and then turning it on. Now we simply swipe up, turn on, turn off. Apple, amazing. We now get new complications for our infograph in our infograph modular watch face. The new complications are the phone, messages, mail, maps, find my friends, home, news, and remotes. To be honest, all of those complications are amazing, but my favorites are definitely the phone and the messages complication. Now I can simply tap on the phone, tap on my friend, and I can simply call them. It is so intuitive. And now we get them on our favorite watch faces exclusively for the Apple Watch Series 4. The heart rate app is now more accurate for Apple Watch Series 4 owners because it creates a closed circuit capturing the electrical impulses across your chest when you place your finger in the digital crown. So now when you're about to check your heart rate, put your finger in the digital crown, it will be faster and more accurate, which is awesome. Man, I love my Apple Watch. All right, so let's talk about ECG. If you've purchased the Apple Watch in America, you will be able to enjoy a bunch of new features, including you now get a new ECG complication available on all watch face. So now you will be able to put the ECG complication and you will tap and it will bring you over to my next feature. You now get finally the ECG app. I'm really jealous of you guys. If you guys are from America, I'm Dallas. So anyways, as I said on the beginning of the video, since I'm not from America, since my Apple Watch is not from America, I had to collab with somebody. If you don't know who BMAC is, what's wrong with you? I mean, literally hit the link down in the description. You have to subscribe to him. He makes so much Apple content. He's an amazing guy, great personality, great videos, great cinematography. Just, I I'll wait, I'll wait, okay? I'll wait, I'll wait, go down in the description. Go subscribe to him and come back. I'll wait. Okay, you should have subscribed by now. All right, so once you've subscribed to BMAC, let's go ahead and jump over to him. He's gonna show you how ECG works. Once again, please hit the link down in the description. I love his channel and I really want him to reach 100K. Why are people calling me? Okay, I'm gonna answer this phone call. All right, enjoy, enjoy BMAC. What's up guys, BMAC here from the YouTube channel BMACadelic and today, I am super excited to show you guys, the Apple World family, the new ECG feature available in Watch OS 5.1.2. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. As you may or may not know, the ECG feature is only available on the Apple Watch Series 4. And of course, you have to make sure that your Apple Watch is running Watch OS 5.1.2 and that your iPhone is running iOS 12.1.1. You will also have to make sure that you're at least 22 years of age to take an ECG on the Apple Watch. I'm not really sure why the age restriction there, but I'm sure it has to do something with the FDA and safety precautions. Basically, you have an upper chamber of the heart and a lower chamber of the heart. And if they're beating in rhythm, that's good. That's called sinus rhythm. If the upper and lower chambers of the heart are not beating in rhythm, that's kind of concerning. That's called atrial fibrillation, also known as AFib, and that's an issue. But once you've confirmed all that, you are ready to take an ECG on the Apple Watch. Now, probably the very first thing you'll notice is this super cool animated heart logo you get in the ECG app. Dude, it is so cool. I could stare at this all day, honestly. Just, just look at it. It's mesmerizing, it's hypnotic. But to get started with your ECG, first you wanna make sure that your Apple Watch is snug on your wrist, that it's not loose. Make sure you're sitting still, either resting your arm on a table or in your lap, and you're gonna rest a finger on the digital crown and stay in that position for 30 seconds. You'll see a super cool animation pop up showing and recording your ECG test in real time. And you're gonna to have to make sure you stay still and keep your finger rested on that digital crown for the duration of the 30 second test. If you happen to move or remove your finger, you have to start the ECG test over, and the 30 second countdown will start over 
server as well. After those 30 seconds, your ECG test results will come up. And as you can see, for me, my heart is beating in sinus rhythm. That's a good thing the Apple Watch didn't detect any signs of AFib. And from here, those ECG results will also be carried over to the health app on your iPhone. And within the health app on your iPhone, you can even export those ECG test results in PDF format in case you need to give them to your doctor or use them for another purpose. Pretty cool feature in and of itself to be able to export that info. And that's pretty much it. A rather seamless, cool, intuitive way to take an ECG right on your wrist using a device you use every single day anyway. I mean, in my opinion, the ECG app and the ECG feature on the Apple Watch is nothing short of amazing. It's incredible. It really is futuristic technology right on your wrist. But one thing I would highly suggest you do in order to take full advantage of the ECG capabilities on your Apple Watch, make sure you set up heart health notifications. Now, what this will do is set up the Apple Watch to occasionally look at your heart rate and a couple other factors to see if there might be signs of AFib occurring. Now, obviously, your Apple Watch isn't going to be taking a constant ECG, but there are factors and data points that the Apple Watch could look at to see well, maybe there is AFib going on, from which point you get a notification and then you could run an ECG test and know for sure. Super cool feature to have. I love the protective health features like that built into the Apple Watch. And here's how to set up those notifications. To do this, you're just going to want to open up the watch app on your iPhone. You're going to scroll down to heart and you'll see it right there. Set up irregular rhythm notifications in health. You're going to want to click that You'll be brought over to the health app. And from here, you get some additional information about how the heart health alerts work, similar to what I was just telling you about. This feature could honestly be life-saving. And that, to me alone, is just mind-blowing. One of the many, many reasons why I love the iPhone and the Apple Watch paired together, it is a match made in heaven. And so if you're at least 22 with the most up-to-date version of your OS for iPhone and Apple Watch, I highly recommend you check out this pretty cool new ECG feature. It's BMAC approved. BMAC approved, baby. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure you subscribe to BMAC. I'm watching you. If you guys want to help support the channel and buy some awesome t-shirts, make sure to check out appleworldclothing.com. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I, actually, and we will see you in the next one. I've Peace. been having dreams Jumping on a trampoline Flipping in the air Neverland just flew babe As I'm looking up Suddenly the sky erupts